Hi guys, I am Great Fairy Carrie, and I have seen so many of the tier videos, and I am addicted to watching them. But there is one tier video that has not been made yet that I think has to be done. Dogs and video games. I love video games. I also love dogs. I have my own dog. His name is Steve, and he is blind in one eye. He is the best boy. He would be triple S tier. You can probably guess which one of these good boys we're starting off with based on the background music. The annoying dog from Undertale, who, aside from being absolutely adorable, also adds a lot to the game. He's got a great personality, he snatches up your goodies, and he also leaves you doggy residue, which can turn to dog salad to exponentially help fill your character. So, for all these reasons, he's going in S tier! Alrighty, the next doggo is the Breath of the Wild dog, which doesn't have a name, but is still absolutely adorable. And you're able to kind of pet them in the game-ish. Link doesn't actually reach out his arm, he just kind of walks into him until they're happy. And these dogs can be useful as well. They can lead you to a treasure chest if Link bonds with them enough within a few minutes. And also they'll roll over and show you their bellies. It's so cute. In my previous video, the Breath of the Wild theories, I had to cut out a lot of footage because I spent 25 minutes petting one of the dogs when I should have been working. So. These are also good boys and they are going to be in S tier as well. I would like to say though, in the next Zelda game, when dogs are incorporated, I really want to be able to really pet them, like arm out, not just nudging them in the body. All right, the next good boy is the stealthiest good boy, Dog Meat from Fallout 4. He is so cute and he's so useful. He'll fight alongside of you, he can find things for you, he can detect enemies, he can play fetch, which I love so much. There's not much that he can't do other than get pet. Why can't I pet him? I just want to pet him. Bethesda, I need answers. For that, I'm going to drop him down to A tier. All right, the next good boy on our list is not a good boy, more like good boys. And that is Nintendogs. Go feed your Nintendog. It's been 10 years. That's so mean. Yeah, I'm looking at you. Go do it. Go. Yeah. I haven't fed mine either, but we're not focusing on you right now. These are great. You get the full dog owning experience. You get to go pick them up, name them. They get to learn your name. You get to teach them tricks. You get to walk them. But um, you you also have to you gotta you got you gotta pick up their poop. You gotta pick up their poop. And, you know, like, I'm, I'm not someone who's a fan of poop. So, I'm gonna have to rate him a little lower for the poop. So, I'm gonna rate it B for bowel movements. Alright, our next good boy comes from Stardew Valley. And you can name him whatever you'd like. He can be pet, he can be watered, and that's, that's about it. I wish that he did a little bit more, honestly, but... He's still a good boy. I'm not going to rate him low. I'll give him very, a very average rating. Some very average puppers. Next up, we have Rush from Mega Man. He's super useful. You can spring off of his back and he can turn into like a little rocket ship. And as you can see, his little nose can be a flashlight. But you also can't pet him, which makes me... So sad, but he's made out of metal, so you probably don't want to pet him. And he confused with his owner, which is pretty weird. That's not really what I look for from a doggo. But he's still a good boy. I'm going to say very average on him. He's going to get a C. All right, next up we have Poochie from Yoshi's Island, Yoshi's Crafted World, pretty much most of Yoshi's games. This is Yoshi's dog? Um, it barks. I think it's a dog. It's, um, it, it has a tail. It's got a name. It's, yeah, I don't really know what that is, but we're gonna put it in B tier for what is that. <laughs> this is Call of Duty Dog. 
They have a dog now. This is the first dog to be in a video game. Call of Duty. Dog. Dog of Duty. Dog. S tier. <laughs> Alright, next up is the demon zombie dogs from Resident Evil 2. Which, you can't play fetch with them. You can't pet them. Trust me, I tried. Didn't turn out too well for me at all. Or Leon, for that matter. And also, there are Dobermans that are demon dogs, which just furthers the stigma that Dobermans are bad dogs, which I hate, because I love me some Dobermans. So these get an F for flesh ripping. Thank you, good day. Next up is the hardest working doggy on our list, Isabel from Animal Crossing. She is the complete package. She will manage your town for you. She's cute. She's adorable. She's happy. She brightens your day. And she will kick some rear end in Smash. Next, we've got the doggy from Minecraft. You get to name your good boy. You get to tame him yourself. He'll follow you. He'll fight for you. But you can't pet him. And also, he can die if you try to pet him. Uh, I don't know about that. All right, the next good boy is from Mario Odyssey, a game that I love so much. And wow, such dog. Much wow. You can play fetch with him, but you can also also see his little booty. Like the, the part on his booty you may not want to see. Nintendo, why? Why did you? That, that was not necessary. I'm going to have to take you down a rank for that. We don't need no unfamily friendly images on our pooches all right the next legendary doggo we have is zacian from the upcoming pokemon sword and shield game he is so cute i could not get over it i was watching the pokemon direct earlier this week and as soon as he came out with a little sword in his mouth i lost it i really hope we can pet him in the game nintendo please let us pet him in the game i know he's deadly and is wielding a sword and is a legendary pokemon please let us pet him he is so cute he's such a good boy 10 out of 10 s tier thank you bless to go along with pokemon sword and shield we also have zamazanta he is also a good boy he is very cute as well it's just I don't know. I just don't feel as drawn to him as I do to his brother. I'm definitely going to be picking up Pokemon Sword instead of Shield. So for that, he's going to be right underneath. There we go. Perfect. Next up, we have Wolf Link, who hails from my one of my favorite Zelda games, Twilight Princess. Um, it's actually Link in the form of a wolf. You can just if you don't understand, play the game. You'll enjoy it. I promise. Wonderful game. Wonderful Wolf Link. Good doggo, even though you play as the doggo. S tier. S tier for Zelda. S tier for doggo. You thought I was done, but there's one dog left to rule them all. That's right. Pappy Van Poodle. For those of you who don't know who Pappy Van Poodle is, he is a character from a Nintendo 3DS game called Rusty's Real Deal Baseball. There was recently a video that came out about Pappy Van Poodle. Very good. I suggest go checking it out. And the premise of the video is that he's a Nintendo character that has zero search results on Google, which is crazy. Well, of course, after that video released, he has a few now, but I wanted to give him one more. There you go, Paps. All right, that just about finishes it out. Let me know what your S tier puppers would be. And if there are any dogs in video games that I miss, please comment what they are down below along with what tier you think they belong in. Um, thank you guys so much. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and also subscribe if you haven't already. I'd appreciate it. I'm still a little early chicken in this YouTube business. So yes, thank you very much, guys. Goodbye.